Hello everyone, Dr. David Perlmutter here and I'd like to talk to you today about the ketogenic diet. We are certainly hearing a lot about it. And you know, truthfully, we learn uh, some of what we know about the ketosis and the ketogenic diet from clinical interventional trials in humans, but we also get a fair amount of great information from the animal work. And I'd like to uh, go through today an interesting study uh, where laboratory animals are placed on a ketogenic diet and specifically, uh, attention was paid to looking at what happens to glutathione levels in laboratory rats that are on a ketogenic diet, and specifically, what happens to the glutathione levels in the uh, brain, uh, specifically in the hippocampus, the memory, enters and, uh, memory areas, and how uh, that glutathione protects the mitochondria against being damaged by free radicals. So the study is going to look at, again, the role of the ketogenic diet in protecting brain cells. So let's take a look at a study. It's called The Ketogenic Diet Increases Mitochondrial Glutathione Levels. And this uh, is an interesting study. I want to just tell you, to be clear, this is a laboratory study using laboratory animals. And these animals were fed a ketogenic diet and were compared to other animals called controls that were given normal chow. And they were able to confirm that these animals were in ketosis uh, as they uh, actually measured their beta-hydroxybutyrate levels, uh, something that we do. So we'll take a look at that and again compare to controls. And what did they find? That the ketogenic diet animals had a two-fold increase in the amount of glutathione in the mitochondria of the cells of the uh, rat's memory center and also had a two-fold increase in the ratio of available reduced glutathione versus oxidized glutathione. In other words, doubled the amount of active glutathione. And then they asked the question, well, what is the effect of having this increased glutathione? Well, before we get there, we have to understand that glutathione being an antioxidant uh, is involved in getting rid of peroxides. There is, in fact, an enzyme called glutathione peroxidase that gets rid of what are called peroxides, damaging chemicals that exist uh, as a consequence of metabolism. And this study demonstrated that glutathione was dramatically able to reduce how much damage was inflicted on the mitochondria within the neurons uh, in the hippocampus uh, that would have been induced by this hydrogen peroxide. We know that. Uh, and we'll see what the study shows. They wanted to evaluate how the ketogenic diet versus the controlled diet uh, improved or reduced the amount of damage on the DNA or of the DNA within the mitochondria. Here's what they found. First, that getting on the ketogenic diet, if you measure beta-hydroxybutyrate, clearly was associated with a dramatic increased risk, uh, increased rather, pr uh, presence of ketogenesis with higher levels of beta-hydroxybutyrate. But beyond that, the blood sugar, as you might expect on a ketogenic diet, was lower. One of the reasons we like to talk about ketogenic diet for lowering uh, blood sugar in humans and, and certainly as it relates to treating type 2 diabetes. When we look at the amount of glutathione uh, in the mitochondria of the brain cells, uh, the, uh, comparing on the left side the controlled diet versus ketogenic diet, it is dramatic, significant increase uh, content of glutathione in the mitochondria. And looking at that ratio of uh, reduced versus oxidized or available glutathione, uh, then we see an even stronger uh, indication that the ketogenic diet is able to make this happen. You know, it's interesting to note that these researchers also looked at lipoic acid. Lipoic acid is a very important fat soluble and water-soluble antioxidant. Uh, it's able to get into the brain and it even beyond acting as an antioxidant even acts uh, as a heavy metal chelator. They measured the level of lipoic acid in the hippocampus in this study and you'll notice that again the ketogenic diet was really very very compelling. Uh, the next thing that they wanted to look at uh, was what we set out to, to look at at the beginning and that is the amount of damage to the mitochondria 
uh, that was inflicted by hydrogen peroxide over time. And here's what they found. If you look at the 15-minute uh, point here, you'll see that the control group, there's a huge amount of damage to uh, the mitochondria inflicted by the hydrogen peroxide exposure, whereas the ketogenic uh, uh, group is very, very much protected. Uh, same thing at 30 minutes, even more dramatic, a huge protection of these mitochondria from being damaged uh, by exposure uh, to this hydrogen peroxide by virtue of the fact that they have higher levels of protective ketones. So again, let's be clear. Uh, this is a laboratory study, but I think that it really gives us some very important information uh, about uh, another aspect of the ketogenic diet. You know, glutathione, uh, yes, it's an antioxidant. As we see here, it upregulates the production of alpha lipoic acid. Uh, it enhances detoxification. Uh, so it's really important to maintain adequate uh, glutathione levels. We know that uh, the brain is deficient in glutathione, for example, in Parkinson's disease. So uh, an interesting study that really does shed some very important light on another aspect of the ketogenic diet. Thanks for joining me. That's all for now. Dr. David Perlmutter saying bye.